Welcome in everyone to another episode here at Ty's Pop Shop and in today's episode we're going to a few stores, box lunch, hot topic, and second and Charles. The footage that y'all are going to be seeing today will tell you the truth. I don't have a vlogger's like camera um, but I literally used my phone and I posted all these um, on Instagram yesterday like one minute videos and we're that's basically what y'all gonna be watching like the clips that I have posted on Instagram I know that's not the best way to do this but I, I don't have a camera yet so um, coming up soon I'm gonna try to for sure get one but I still think the quality is really good and y'all still enjoy it and in the mall before we went to second Charles not all the stores was open box lunch was open and hot topic but FYE was not I'm not sure why but like it looked like the trend was like every other store was open which was I guess for obviously the social distancing I'm not sure we still had a great time and at least those two stores was open and they didn't say anything about me recording in there and I got to get a little bit of footage um, seeing a few pops that I haven't yet got to see in person yet so that was fun and once again this is just the start of this I know it's not gonna be like full screen and the best uh, you know if I had like a vloggers camera or whatever but just bear with me for right now and it's better than nothing and at least y'all get to see some of these pops and um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoy and as soon as these clips play we'll come right back and show you what we picked up in here box lunch Did it? oh really oh, okay yeah yeah to see what they got in here at Box Lunch. They got all the new Avengers Marvel. Some really great figures. Also got the Fantastic Four. The Water Nork. The Flock Simba Box Lunch exclusive. They also got Ricky, Wild Thing, Vaughn. I think that's a sick pop. Simpsons, Colonel Sanders. I've got the Smoky Bear, but I got the Funko exclusive. Moonwalker, the Pokemon. I got these last week on. And last but not least, we got the Child here. So, got some great pops here at Box Lunch. Also, buy one, get one 50% off. Can't never go wrong with that. We're in here at Hot Topic. I seen this one right out the gates. We got Gumby, then from Slayer. We got Kid Flash. Got some Pokemon. Me too. I would really like to pick that one up to be honest. I'm not sure yet. Pikachu. Um a couple of the same pops that we've already seen. We got the Flocked Hot Topic exclusive Penguin from Billy Madison, Ice Cube, Notorious B.I.G. Onward, uh, Ian Lightfoot, Spider-Man, Waldo, um, some Disney ones, oh we got the Spongebob, the Diamond Edition, hey! I might have to pick that up. Also, we got this Venomized Miles Morales. But yeah, pretty much the same pops that i just seen in Box Lunch. But we're going to probably be going to Second Charles after this. So let's see what they got over there. All right, we just got in here in Second Charles. And I've just seen this one, Underminer. It's from The Incredibles 2, so it's a newer one. But I still, I like that pop a lot. And I also already had the jaw set, but it's also cool to see them again in the store and here at Second Charles. Also, they got Kiss, um, Ice Cube once again. I also just found Quavo for the Migos. I always only see Takeoff for the Migos, but this is the first time seeing Quavo in person. Really nice figure. This is the first time also seeing Yoda with his hut for the 40th anniversary and also 
This is super sick. Darth Vader in his chamber. Such a sick, awesome pop. And then obviously we got some Apex Legends. And also, right quick, I just want to add this as a side note. I've never seen anything like this. This is Pop Asia, and it has the 2015 Pop Asia Funko exclusive sticker on it. They're wanting $25.95. Not sure if that's good or bad, honestly, but I'm sure it's got to be worth something, especially here, because that's probably, I'm guessing, pretty rare. But also another cool find here at 2nd and Charles. Here in the glass case here at 2nd and Charles, we got Joel Embiid, a Brian O'Connor. I've never seen this one in person. Super sick pop. Aaron Rodgers, old school Aaron Rodgers, Carson Wentz, and then this, the home Aaron Rodgers. Some really nice pops down here at 2nd and Charles. All right, so I'm so glad that I got to show that footage to y'all. At least it was a little something. And I did not end up getting anything at Box Lunch, nor did I at Hot Topic. Just didn't exactly see, you know, what I was looking for or what exactly caught my eye for yesterday. And I knew we were going to Second Charles. And the reason that I did wait is because this Second Charles is even better than the one that is closer to me. Um, it's a little farther away, but it is their flagship store, so they get, obviously, more stuff in, and yesterday did not disappoint, but I'm super happy with the things that I did get, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. So the first one I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get him out of the way, because we've been doing a lot of NBA, and I'm just going to go ahead and get the NBA out of the way, there's only one, but it is Joel Embiid. Morris to the cup. Do not go in there. Joel Embiid. Position that time to not have to face Ben Simmons. Uh, that he could just go and attack the back. Career high. It's for three. Yes! And I'm super happy to get this pop. Um... It was fourteen ninety five, so basically sixteen dollars, and that's what he's going for right now on the Funko app. But I really didn't care because I haven't personally ever seen him in store. I've just never been able to find him. So the fact that I finally got him, I was very very excited about. And here's a close up of him once again. Super happy to get this pop. And for those who have never been to Second Charles or just maybe have never heard of it. They have pops just like, it's not exactly, but like a FYE, how they're like on a wall, but they just kind of have them like in the middle, usually somewhere, or at least the ones I've been to. So this one has like three aisles of just Funko Pops, but they always have like a glass case, and so it's for rare pops like chases or just stuff that's you know worth more than your average just regular pop so this one was actually in the glass case and um but there was also another one in the glass case that I got but I'm saving it for last so I'm gonna set Joel and Bede over here so now we're getting to the next three which I'm super proud to get we're just gonna get right on with it and it is this Resistance BB unit. I had actually never seen this droid before. Um, so I thought, man, that looked really cool. And it's got the Walmart exclusive sticker on it. And I obviously had to pick it up. So it is now in my Star Wars collection. Super proud of this pop right here. All right, so this next one that I got, the next two go together. But... I love Rogue One. It is in my top probably three Star Wars movies, and a lot of people that I know really like that movie as well. It was just a really... They just did a really nice job on that movie. And spoiler alert, what I'm about to say, if you've never watched the movie, you might want to turn it, but I figure if you like Star Wars, you've probably seen it by now. But literally everybody in this movie that I know of dies which is probably the only unfortunate thing about it because it was such a great movie. Like, you really going to kill everyone? I don't know if I can think of another movie that has killed 
everybody in the movie. That's it's crazy. This guy was legit. Him and the other guy, the uh, I think his name is like Sharut or something like that. Sharit. Them two was warriors, and they went out fighting. Let's just say that, like. <laughs> obviously died as well but they did not go out without a fight <laughs> here's the others i was hoping that i could find the darth vader one i would really like that one for this set and there was a couple uh stormtroopers i would have really liked to have gotten as well but at least i found this one and then obviously the uh, bb unit and then the next one and super happy to get this pop as well we here have jen or so once again I can't say it enough how much I really love Rogue One and I would have really liked to have gotten um, the Captain Cassian or what I think that's his name uh, as well maybe even the droid the K260 or whatever <laughs> But yeah, both these boxes was in really nice shape as well. And also, I forgot to mention, but this one was on sale for $5.95. And I believe this one was like $6. Yeah, $6.95 and $5.95. So I was going to get them for their regular price, which I think is $10.99, if I'm not mistaken, at Second Charles is what they charge for their pops, which is not bad at all. But they were on sale, so I was getting them anyways, but still, it's nice to save a little money. So super happy, obviously, for all four of these pops. But the main event right here at the end is one that I didn't know if I would get. Um, I've been kind of thinking about buying them through Amazon, but couldn't pull the trigger and cannot believe that I got this pop. I actually took... Um, if y'all ever order from GameStop, they send mostly uh, their pops in these cardboard like Funko boxes. So lately, I've kind of ran out of the uh, pop protectors. I've kind of got them just on, obviously, all my pops. So this is what I've been taking. If I just in case I find something like I did yesterday, which is why I took this specifically, and sure enough, did find something. And I'm going to go ahead and get him out of this box, and then I'll show y'all him as soon as I do. Alright, actually we're going to do this right here. Three, two, one. We got Brian O'Connor. Here we got Brian O'Connor. I cannot believe that I got this pop. This pop is... Um, for those who don't know, Vaulted. And he's just one of my favorite actors of all time. Fast and Furious is probably one of my favorite, if not most favorite, franchises of all time. And the late, great Paul Walker, who died in 2013 in a car accident. And um, they had to finish up Fast and Furious 7 without him. Um, but his brother got to finish the movie um, as like his they use like CGI for on his brother because they look so similar and you can't hardly tell it but I mean kind of at the end the last car scene you can but 
Such a great figure and super pumped to get this one into the collection. Definitely one of my most favorite pops that I own now. That's pretty much going to wrap today's video up. I hope that y'all enjoyed it and this is just the start of the vlog. Like I said, I'm going to get a camera soon and we're going to literally vlog for real, go to stores um, as here at least that most stores are back open and now that I can go back pop hunting and enjoy the hobby that I love. Also, just wanted to thank y'all for the support here on the channel and also thank you for the support on the Instagram channel. Last video, we had just hit 75 followers and I believe now we just hit 130, two days later. So we've picked up 55 new followers on the Instagram. Once again, I post a new picture every day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time on the Instagram of a, of a new pop or just a pop that I have. And I try to get really creative with the pictures and I really enjoy doing that. So don't forget to give those a follow. My Instagram and Twitter link is down in the description. So please follow both of those. And if you're not subscribed here on the channel and you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to the channel. Also, maybe share this video and some of my others with a friend or two. And that would be much appreciated. But this has been another episode of Ty's Pop Shop. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and see you guys in the next video.